Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is the video I promised to make on how to generate table of content automatically. So I have opened this lorem ipsum so that I can grab content from here. Okay, so I'll select the content of control C to copy. And then I'll paste it here in Word. I already opened this Word. It's a new Word document, by the way. So one of the things that we'll do first will be to change the formatting of this heading one, heading two, and heading three, because that's what will help us to um, generate the table of content. So for the heading one, I'll just right click and click on modify. I'll change this to automatic. I'll change this to 12 as well. Then I'll change this to Times New Roman. This is going to be at the center. So I'll center this and I'll also bold in it. And I think that's all here. I'll go to format, then to paragraph. I'll change this before from 12 point to 0 point and the line spacing from multiple to double. And I think that's all we have to do here. So, okay. I'll do the same thing for heading two. I'll modify, change this to 12, and change this to times new Roman. Then I'll also change this to, okay, it's left, so it's okay. I'll change the paragraph from auto to zero then the line spacing to double and i think that's all i have to do here as well okay so for heading three i'll do the same thing change the color to automatic change the font to times new roman and i also go to format to see the paragraph settings change this to zero i'll change this from multiple to double click on ok I think that's all I have to do here too. Okay. So finally, I'll change this normal <coughs> as well. Modify this. I'll change this to Times New Roman. I'll change this to 12. So in this, in the case of this one, since it's going to be the body of the um, document, the text body, um, I'll change this to Justified. And... Okay, I'll go to format again. I'll change this after to zero and this multiple to double and okay and okay. So let's assume this is your document. I'm going to create a space up there to for table of content and I've just pressed control enter so that I can take that to the next um, page. Okay, so while I'm there, let me just edit this one to look like um, a research or a project. So chapter one, and let me call this 1.1. 1 .1. And let me call this one 1.2. 1 <clears throat> and this one, I'll call it 1.2.1. 1 .1. Okay, so that we can have um, a level of indentation, then in this one, let me take this one to another page and call that chapter two. So chapter two here. And for this one, I'll call it 2.1. And then I'll copy some more so that we can really see what's happening here. I'll call this 2.2. .2. Okay, so I think that should do um, just for this demo purpose. Okay, so for chapter one, I'll apply the heading one to it. And you can see it takes it to the center automatically. And then it's also going to change the font from this Dufflin plane to um, Times New Roman. And the same thing for this one, but this one is going to be at heading two. And how I do detect what heading I apply is anything that doesn't have anything in front of it, like this one doesn't have any numbering. I apply heading one to that 
For the other ones, I just count the number of digits, like this is um, one dot one. So I count um, the number of digits between the dots. So I said that because, I mean, if you, if you have, for instance, if you have 1.12, that's still true, even though you have um, three digits, but numbers in between the dots, that's one and 12, so that's true. So for this level of indentation, um, I just apply heading two. Then for this one, which is the body, I apply the normal. Now you can see this one didn't take that um, normal formatting. So you just select that and apply that again. I'll tap that. I'll do the same thing for this one. Apply heading two. And I'll highlight this text and then apply normal to it. I'll tap this, sorry, tap this, okay. I'll apply, for this one now you can see this is dot dot, so we have one, two, three. So I'm going to apply heading three to this one. And so permit me to quickly, I didn't give that, I didn't bold in that, so let me bold in this and, okay, I think we are good to go now. I can apply this. Okay, so um, let me zoom this in so you can see how it really looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this. I'll highlight this one again. And then apply this normal. Okay, so I'll tap this and tap this. By the way, there's a way you can also do this automatically where it just taps it in for you. So for chapter two, I'll do the same thing. This is heading one, and this is heading two, and this is heading two as well. And I'll se select this or highlight that. I'll apply normal to it, tap this. I'll select this as well, highlight that, and this, and tap this. Okay, so if you look at the this work now, it looks neater than um, it was when we first copied it in. So how do we then generate the table of content from this? So um, this is what we do. I come here. Now you can go to references. Now in references, you go to table of content. From table of content, just pick this one that has um, table of content as its title. So I pick that and you can see automatically it just generates the table of content with the level of indentation. You can see 1.2 and then 1.2.1 is in inside 1.2 and that's how it's going to be if you have other things. So for this one as well, I'll just change that to capital letter. Now this is a, a little trick. The way to change that to capital letter, the shortcut is by pressing Shift F3. So you go to Home and then apply Heading One to it, um, and just okay. I actually expected that to yes. So I expected that to do this. So I'm going to. Okay, so that's it. All right, so that's it. And the beauty of this is that it's it's now easier to um, track your table of content. And in case you want to update it, it's even easier. So what I will do is observe this chapter two, it's on page four. I will try to um, create some additional texts here in this place let me just highlight this and copy and just paste some couple more okay so if you look at this now we have chapter two on page six so what you can do now is just to go here right click and update field and if you didn't touch anything like if you didn't change any text here that for the headings. You don't really need to update the entire table. But if you did, then you might need to update the entire table. But for this case, where I didn't touch any of the headings, I didn't touch any of the titles, all I just need to do is just to update page numbers only. So 
So of, this is where I want you to observe. Observe that chapter two is on page at page four. So if you now click OK, it automatically updates it to page six. So it's easier to track this document and it's easier for you to update the table. And one of the other beauty about this is that you can just hold the control and click and it takes you to chapter two. So um, from anywhere, if, you, if it's just this place you want to go to, you can hold the control and click on that and click, it takes you to that place. So that's, that's it about how to generate table of content automatically. I hope this video will be helpful and you'll be able to get something out of it. In case you have questions, you may still let me know. Um, thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye.